Hi, I'm Shelley Lefko, co-founder of the Lefko Institute. I'm really excited to talk to you about living an intentional life in your career. Now, I want to talk about one of the things that gets in our way of living our life intentionally in careers. I used to hear myself say all the time, oh, I don't think like Morty does, or I can't write a blog like Morty does, or I don't know how to create a course the way Rodney does. I'm not good at that. That's not my gift. Recently, I was in Hawaii, and I bought my three-year-old grandson a little kind of construction set with these all different color plastic pieces. And he said to me, Mimi, will you make an airplane for me? And I said, okay. And I'm looking at the box, and there's a picture of an airplane on the box. And I'm going, okay, so the red piece goes here, and which piece did they use next? And I'm going crazy trying to figure out how to do this. Well, in walks his dad, Adam, and he sits down on the floor and makes this fabulous airplane. And then he takes the little Superman guy that Loki loves and he ties him to the seat. And I looked at Adam and I went, God, I am just not good at this. And he said to me, no, you just don't have experience with it. So I realized that when Adam was young, he used to work in the, in the shed with his stepfather and he taught him how to use tools. That was part of his business. And so Adam had experience with this kind of a thing that I didn't have. Well, it totally changed my life. I came back from Hawaii and I heard myself start to say, no, I can't do that. I'm not good at it, to I don't have experience yet with it. And I started looking at how can I get experience? And getting experience means making mistakes, failing, being willing to learn, being willing to go into the process of not knowing. And I invite you to look at your lives and see what are the beliefs that keep you from being willing to get experience with things that you may not have now so that you can follow some of your dreams and some of your passions. Now I realize not everybody could just quit their job and go do what they're passionate about. They might not be able to do that right now. But you can look at the way that you're being in work. What are the things that you shy away from? What are the things that you can do that would make your job more exciting if only you were willing to do things that you weren't comfortable doing? So as a first step, to living an intentional life in your, with your career, start examining, what do I think that I'm not good at that stops me from moving forward, from making my life more exciting and challenging in the area of my career? Thanks, and I'll see you again soon with the next video on living an intentional life.